Hello and welcome back to our International Harvester Archive series. In their heyday, IH were reputed to be bigger than any other agricultural equipment manufacturer. And these archive films are a reminder of those pioneering times. In this issue, we go right back to the beginning with a reconstruction of the story of Cyrus McCormick and his incredible mechanical reaper machine that changed agriculture forever. Plus another six films that cover the decades from the 1930s right up to the 1970s. So there should be something here for everyone. But first, we look at the high performer's range of tractors. We included a film with the same name in part three of this archive series, but that focused on the export market. This later film highlights all the new features on the whole series, including the three, four, five, six, and seven 84 models, as well as the top of the range 1246 tractor. So here are the high performers in action from International Harvester. The 955 high performer with the big six-cylinder international engine rated at 96 horsepower. The big three tractors at the top end of the range available in two or four-wheel drive. Direct fuel injection for smooth running and low fuel consumption power in plenty and fingertip hydrostatic power steering providing maneuverability and control over any ground. The exceptionally big capacity hydraulic lift at the link ends handles the heaviest equipment with ease and safety. Miracle of miracles. Young McCormick's invention was actually reaping grain. To the amazement of all, the contraction that had amused the countryside was literally marching down the field, cutting grain just as clean as a whistle. The crowd saw with its own eyes a clean line being marked off by the divider, the reel pressing the grain toward the blade. The stationary fingers hold the stalks firmly against the knife the platform catching the grain six times faster than grain ever fell before. The disc harrow is another tractor-drawn tool that does a thorough job of loosening up the soil, particularly where a surface crust has formed. Potatoes are planted at various depths, depending upon the soil and the method of cultivation that is to be used. Good potato land is capable of yielding a crop that is too valuable for a careful owner to be willing to use anything but the most accurate, up-to-date planter. During the growing season, a lot of attention must be given to cultivating and spraying potato plants. Cultivate early and continue until the potato tubers have developed. It's a mistake to cultivate only when the plants are small and then quit in favor of other farm work because weeds will take root and retard potato development. Later, cultivating to kill the deeply rooted weeds starts a second growth of the potato, resulting in a rough, knobby, and less valuable crop. Farmall outfits speed up cultivating so that the ground can be worked as often as necessary to keep out the weeds and still have plenty of time for other jobs. With his big new tractor and three-bottom plow, he'll handle nine to 13 acres a day. His big W6 has almost 33 horsepower on the drawbar and all of 36 horsepower on the belt. In addition to having lots of power for plowing, the W6 covers 30 to 40 acres a day with double disc harrow. It will also cover 40 to 60 acres a day with 28 marker drill, 30 to 40 acres with field cultivator, or 80 acres or more with a harrow. Through the power takeoff, it will operate a... By the middle of the harvest, we'd done over 15,000 bales with our 445, and it was doing a grand job. A heavy crop like this is an excellent test, and the baler worked its way along the windrows at a very good rate. Safety aspects have been well looked after, too. 
They tell me there are a dozen safety features engineered into the design. Well, that suits me. They protect the machine and our investment. Certainly, International Harvester was a force to be reckoned with in the middle part of the 20th century, and these old movies go a long way to capturing a flavor of their success. Please look out for more programs from Second Sight Productions in the future, but it's goodbye for now. <laughs>